I'll turn the power on now and turn up the power to 100 watts and uh, after a while the tube will strike and you will see the blue glow and the meter will change just let it build up the power let's turn on the, uh, the meter can't see it in the picture but I can't show everything actually running 50 watts at the moment it's such a power and the, the gas is getting hot so after a while the tube will strike it hasn't done so, it takes several seconds. And the meter reading on the RF art meter is rising from 35 to 40. Can't show that in the picture because it's out of the picture. Oh, it is in the picture, isn't it? I'll move that round a bit. Just a minute, let me just zoom it round a bit. That actually all shows. Okay. This is the uh, the um, ammeter, RF ammeter, and its full scale is a hundred units, thirty amps. So you can work it out. It's the tube is struck now. You should have seen that. And uh, the reverse power has gone down to uh, zero. I just adjusted to a hundred watts to get a comparison. Okay. And uh, it's now getting hotter. The uh, RF meeting is reading 45, and it varies a little bit. And there's actually radiation being detected, but that will be only background. So let it stew for a while. You'll see the meter reading. Then you can probably see the uh, RF meter. Just uh, power meters reading 100 watts and, and the uh, reverse power is zero. The current is steadily rising and the RF meter has gone down to 42. This experiment is a repeat of the previous experiment. The tube is glowing a pink colour at the moment, which it usually does in the initial stages, and it stays that colour because there's no uh, particular change. It's not hot enough for the change to take place, not hot enough for the uh, sodium to be released into the tube. Now, the, reflect the output RF meter is emitting 45 now. So the power has gone up a little bit. The worst power is still zero. And the current seems to be rising a little bit. Can't see what it is from here. Reflective power has now risen to 45, it was like just below it. But it's not the reflective power, the uh, RF output power, which is indicated by an RF meter. Gas is still getting hotter, and the, the radiation counter is now reading greater than 0.5 microseverts per hour. Stop now. Now the uh, reverse power is lifting off zero just a little bit. The idea is to see if any power is being produced by the plasma and the current meter is going up. I notice the current is rising slowly as the heat increases, the temperature increases. And the 
RF indicator has gone up slightly above 45 now. And the reverse power is rising a little bit now. Christopher Stubborns here talking about his uh, reactor. It is possible it's not doing anything at all except changing the temperature of the conductor which alters the impedance. But if the reverse power goes up and the output power goes up it means something is happening. I don't fully understand it. The reverse power has now risen to just about 1 watt and the, and the forward power is still 100 watts. It's still constant. current meter seems to be going up a little bit and the, transmit the, the transmitted power is rising a bit, it's gone to 45 a bit now. And the reverse power is rising a bit, see how it goes. It takes several minutes to this effect to take place. I don't fully understand it because the plasma changes its character, it's now stopped being pink and is now green. And there's also radiation again on the, on the Geiger counter. Could be background. This is a demonstration of a thermonuclear reactor, this is what it's supposed to be. And it's supposed to produce a small amount of RF power. There's an exciter just here, this is the exciter, and this is the thermonuclear reactor in here. And the exciter induces a current in the in the um, capacitor and inductor here to make a tuned circuit. And that in, and uh, as the gas in here in this tube is hydrogen gas. The idea is that fusion reactions take place in the hydrogen gas and that couples with the, uh, with the coil of the inductor and the capacitor to form so that the RF oscillations are slightly increased. But at the moment I have very low power and a fairly low pressure so it does not affect, it's not very marked. And the reverse power is now rising to nearly 5, about 4 watts. And the transmitted power is just over 45 and the current is dropped a little bit. And now we've got the burst of radiation now greater than one one micro server per hour. So it's got a burst of radiation then. The reverse power is still rising a bit, it's now just under 5 watts. And there's another burst of radiation. The E-field meter reads 3 and a bit, 0.3 and a bit, so 300, just about 310 um, volts per meter a distance of 200 millimeters from the uh, tube. So we can work out what the power is by integrating over the circuit sphere if we know how to do what the power diagram is, which I don't. Notice that the alpha power RF meter has gone down a little bit to 45. RF current appears to be holding up. Reverse power is still 5 watts.